On your local data centers in your office, you may have workloads running on your virtual machines. And if your organization is looking to adopt cloud as a platform, then you may want to do a lift and shift of those virtual machines to the cloud. And you may want to do that on infrastructure as a service. Typically, IaaS facilities are managed in a similar way as on-premise infrastructure. And that provides an easy migration path for moving existing applications to the cloud. There are teams that can quickly set up and dismantle test and development environment. So if you would like to bring new applications to the market faster, then IaaS is the way to go. Infrastructure as a service makes scaling development testing environments up and down fast and economical. If you would like to run websites using infrastructure as a service, then all you got to do is build a new virtual machine in the cloud, typically AWS, Azure or Google Cloud Platform, and then start installing Apache, Tomcat and then host your web application on it. So infrastructure as a service is also used for web hosting. Organizations may want to avoid the capital outlay and complexity of storage management, which typically requires a lot of skilled staff to manage your data, meet the legal and compliance requirements. Infrastructure as a service is useful for managing unpredictable demand and steadily growing storage needs. It can simplify the planning and management of backup and recovery systems. So infrastructure as a service is also used to store your data, backup and perform recovery when required.